following program is sponsored by PokerStars.com. Previously on The Big Game, the Italian loose cannon has been frustrating the pros all week. Easy game. He was training with the Shaolin monks in Beijing. And while some melted down last night. All right, last rebound, rebound. I'm reloading. Phil Helmuth completely lost it. What the are they doing to me? I mean, these guys are crazy. This game is unbelievable. I can't believe I'm losing. Yeah. It's just unreal what happens to me at this place. Tonight, see if Max can bring the title back to Rome. Guys on a heater. Yeah. Down him on his back. As the cannon's journey concludes, right now. You guys want to gamble with me? Let's play poker. Welcome once again to The Big Game from Las Vegas. Alongside Joe Stapleton, I'm Scott Huff. And tonight we finish up this week's action as some of the best in the world tangle for nearly $1 million on the table in our state-of-the-art poker room. The businessman Bill Perkins will literally play any two cars. Yesterday he tried to raise with Park Place and a happy birthday from Hallmark. Phil Locke is here chasing Justin Bonomo's mark for the all-time money lead on the big game. He held it briefly, but has fallen off the pace. He's stuck over 27K. Elke has walked softly but carried a big baguette. He's quietly, unmaniacally up $32,000. That shaggy youngster is Italian poker pro Dario Minieri. He spent the end of last session tormenting Phil Helmuth. He's up 47000 Speaking of Helmuth, he's been having such a frustrating week. The guy hitting the bleep button has developed carpal tunnel he stuck almost $40,000. Tonight's loose cannon, Massimiliano Martinez, comes to us by way of Rome, Italy. The 24-year-old is currently studying economics after concentrating on medicine the past four years. Max is up almost 100 k for the week, and he's with Amanda. Max, at the beginning of the week, you said 100 k was your goal. You've got that. Are you satisfied, or are you ready to gamble it up? Yeah, I'm a little bit satisfied, but uh, I think I can do better, probably. I don't know. Uh, I want to play, but uh, I'm very, very satisfied. Are you thinking about that NAPT passport at all right now? Oh, it's very important. NAPT passport is a very big opportunity to play across the USA, so uh, I'll try to get it. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. The loose cannon stakes $100,000. He keeps all money above the initial $100,000. And the loose cannon with the most money at season's end wins this trophy and North American Poker Tour passport worth 50,000 bucks. Well, this is a first. He can do it. He can do it. We've Here seen go. it. I don't trust you. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true poker player. He doesn't trust us. I don't trust it either, but he can't leave even if he wants to, so they have no real reason to try to make him stay. And at the moment, Max is trailing for the NAPT passport by less than 60K, so we'll see how hard he pushes it. A restraddle. I didn't agree to this. Restraddle. Okay. I can see that we're getting, we're losing our minds here. Perkins is losing both his mind and his shirt. Lock straddled, Perkins re-straddles. Action on Max with ace 10. Uh-oh. <laughs> and of course, of course, the shallow monk comes oh, to the please. mat, you know? He loves these moments. Please. Max raises to 5,100. Action folds yeah, to Elke, who's out. Please. I don't know. I'm, I've given up on the monk. I'm just going to. I'm baiting out. Please. Oh. Lock with 10, 9 of hearts. Phil's dominated. Where is the five? Is. Calls 4,300. The re-straddles. Oh, sorry. Oh, that flash. Perkins folds. I love how Max doesn't shy away from these huge pots at all. 4-10 queen rainbow. Locke and Martinez both with middle pair. Jake. Locke's got kicker problems like the karate kid. And Max hasn't given a ton of free cards this week. He fires 6,100. A lot of money out there to fold this to one bet, especially when everyone has a pretty good sense of how aggressive Max has been. Locke makes the call. String call. It was. Stringy dingy. Oh. Turn. Deuce of diamonds. Lock checks. Will Max keep barreling? He does not. Checks it to the river. Queen of diamonds, two pair for both. Changes absolutely nothing. Lock checks. This is probably a spot for a value bet, especially knowing how aggressive our cannon's been. And Martinez bets 25,000 with his two pair better kicker. Very polarizing bet on a hand that's not polarized. This is called a thin call. I don't normally do these. But I decided a long time ago. Wait, let me get my notepad. I the only way to beat these 
shallow and long is to just a thin call. You just get some little chunk of something, you just hold on, and if they pound you into the ground and they take your satchel and run away into the forest, then you're just sitting there with no satchel. That's okay, I've been without a satchel before. What in the H? <laughs> but if my thin little gangly, crackly one pair no. is good, then so, I took his satchel. Does this story have a point? Right Just flip a coin, flip a coin. Yeah. Flip a coin, come flip on. A coin. <laughs> flip a chip. Maybe. I'm getting a coin. <laughs> I'd like a coin. Max can now win an extra 25 grand based on the flip of a coin. I have a coin, I know. Okay, I got one cent. <laughs> Give me the coin. Shaolin's got his own coin. Shaolin, you want to flip the Shaolin coin? Ancient Chinese proverb says, anytime man offers you coin, don't flip, but call instead. Wow, is that parable true? I'm going with the parable. Lock calls, Max shows the winner. Thanks, <laughs> man. You're in the Shaolin value bed. Shaolin value bed. <laughs> oh, I love that a little talk. He knew the Shaolin parable. <laughs> he knew to offer the coin, because he knew if he offered the coin, I would call. If I could have found a quarter, I would have been 50-50. <laughs> so Max jump starts his night with a $75,000 pot as we take a look at the rules of the big game. Each table lasts exactly 150 hands. Action pre-flop is pot limit, then no limit after the flop. Blinds are two and four with a $100 ante, all of which is paid by the player on the button. And every player begins with at least $100,000, but can rebuy for up to 500 k <laughs> <laughs> Max has registered fairly normal VPIP and PFR percentages and hasn't let this hyper-aggressive table affect him. His solid play continues to pay off as his showdown winnings now exceed 300,000. The loose cannon's profit is now almost 138K, roughly 17,000 behind Gonzo with 39 hands left to play. And all it takes is one of those hands. Action on Dario Minieri. Tray four, lets it go. Elki, guess that's not a good hand. 25 or something. Actually, Phil, 39 hands left to go. We just done told you. Lock with ace queen. Raises to 1,200. The businessman folds the 10 tray. Max out. Helmuth with 10 8 makes the call. All right. Phil. Four hours ago, you would have folded that. You guys were so good that we didn't play. You realize there's only 34 I'm hands. I want to check. Left. I don't fold this hand that often, but. Story checks out and in the dark. Tray five, Jack Rainbow. The poker brat is checked in the dark. It's over to Phil Locke. Who has the best hand with ace high? Locke checks. Turns the ace of hearts. Locke hits top pair. Locke has even more of the best hand now since Phil's drawing dead. And Helmuth checks. And Locke will check. Getting a little tricky. River, seven of hearts. Looks like getting tricky might have worked. And Helmuth bets 1,600. That's right. Locke's turn check gets Helmuth to fire the river. Locke makes the call. You got it. I know. Ten okay, high. Show it. Ten high? Hey, I, I got a pair of aces. How's that? You want to see it? I'll show you. You want to see? You really want me to <laughs> expose my hand? Do you have a flush draw or a four? You really want me to expose my hand? If you have a four or two, okay. yeah. Go ahead. Helmet shows. Well, if he has a four or two with it, it's a little different. Ten high flush draw. Ten you know? high, ten high. Bad etiquette to make the loser expose his hand, Mr. Locke. Wow, I can't believe a professional made me expose my hand for 1600. You, were, you rushed to show it because you know I didn't really care. You, just, you know that's bad etiquette. The young guys don't know that, but you do. I know, whatever. Whatever, man, you've changed. You've changed. <laughs> it's unbelievable how, how often you have bad etiquette. Lots of action on the way from inside Phil Helmuth's glass house. Don't go anywhere, folks. Big game's just getting started. If I was a loose cannon. If I was a loose cannon. If I'm the loose cannon, I want to have a really tight image, and I want to be able to make a few bluffs. But I'm also going to try to put a little pressure on. I'd try and play straight, crazy, good, solid poker, unless I got you know, crippled. And then I would probably play the same way, trying to get the money back, I guess. I would try and play tight for maybe 30 minutes, and then I would just go bananas. Well, there's a reason most advice is free. Max Martinez doing just fine on his own, up more than 136,000 and trailing Gonzo by about 20,000 for the season two passport. These guys are second and third behind season one winner, Bobby the Bus Ferdinand, who took home over 181K. Max says if he does well, he's gonna straighten out the leading tower of Pisa. All right, this is where people start doing stupid things, I think. You didn't think that started? <laughs> you didn't think that started? <laughs> <laughs> think it's been a great game all day, don't misunderstand me. Perkins is straddled for 800, Helmuth with King 10. Calls. 
Phil doing what he can to make his own prediction come true. Dario Minieri, Jack Nine, makes the call. Elky with Jack Trey of Hearts. Looks like he wants to play, and he'll call out of the small blind. Helmy was practically priced in the whole table. Queen eight for a lock. And he'll call. Let me look. Ten deuce for Perkins. Go, please. See, this is so sick. I limp with this hand for a specific reason. I'm sure you're going to tell us. It's a good trapper hand. Says the man with only one leg. <laughs> Jack four nine rainbow, two pair for Dario. Elkie's flop top pair, but it's not the best top pair. Dario has top pair with a kicker that's also a pair. <laughs> Elky bets 2200. Lock folds. Over to Perkins. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of that guy. Folds. The guy, the guy in the middle. He looks too serious. Dario looks too serious. He looks like a lost puppy. Helmuth calls 2200 with a gut shot and one over. Gut shot to the nuts. Action back on Dario. The serious guy. 11,000. I knew it. Saw that face. That's a serious raise to 11,000 from Minieri. Great spot for a raise. He can get called by draws and maybe even someone like Elky with top pair. But Elky folds. Phil doesn't have a ton of money left behind. He does have one over, but this would be a pretty loose call. It's for a quarter of his stack. We know Phil's stuck and steaming, which doesn't always lead to the best decisions. All right, I call. And Helmuth will make the call with the gut shot. Helmuth's really gambling now. To the turn. Queen of clubs, and this would be a bad time for a snack break. Phil hits his gut shot. Yahtzee. Checks. I like the check by Phil. Dario's pretty likely to keep firing. That queen wasn't a good card for Dario, but he's still pretty likely to think he has the best hand. He does, bets 14,700. Now this would be a pretty good spot for Phil to raise since Dario's probably got something. And like Michelangelo's David, Phil's got the stone nuts. <laughs> Phil's been waiting all week to get a piece of Dario. And Phil does not have very much left behind. Now raise. He's gonna raise. We're likely to see it all get in here. 29-9. And Phil is all in. Hi, right, Cole. How many times do you want to run? Dario makes the call. Well, you might be drawing dead, so I'm hoping you're drawing dead. I hope you have 10 I might eight. be drawing dead. You have 10 king? Yeah. Nice call on the turn. On the flop, sorry. I'm not drawing dead anyway. Well, let's see what you have. Good call on the flop. As you say to everyone, that's the only reason why I say it. Was a pretty ridiculous call on the flop. Tilt oh, juice. He getting a little bit of his tilt juice here. Yeah. Dario's taking it pretty well. Look at that smile, he's adorable. Phil might finally have a hand that holds up. Dario looking for a jack or a nine. They're only gonna run it once. River, five of spades, and Phil will double up. Five of spades, it's over. I wish I could call river cards like that. <laughs> 26, 29, nine, 29, nine. Phil, you're up after that hand. For the first time all week, and he's speechless. I think he might be tearing up a bit. That hand is so tilting. And Phil Helmuth is tilty as charged. See if Dario can get even when the big game continues after this. I'm not afraid to pull the trigger and make moves. I'm not afraid to make calls. I feel like pretty powerful right now. You never know, this could be the day I cash in 400,000. Did he say 400,000 or for 100,000? Because he's all over the ladder. Only 82,000 more to go. Well, Phil's positive for the first time this week after doubling through Dario. They reached similar conclusions about what led them down all in alley and both shared those unique perspectives as we take you behind the poker face. Yeah, I mean, the game was getting a little bit crazy. I would raised a couple of pots right before that hand came up. There was a life straddle from Perkins. Loose cannon falls. Helmut call on the cutoff. I felt like there's a decent chance I had the best hand, and I'm risking 800, but I'm trying to trap. So I decided to limp with king and 10. I was on the bottom with jack nine, and I didn't want to get that crazy. So I decided to call. Alki called, Phila called. Go, please. Got a decent flop, jack nine, four. The action was on Alki, which lead out for 2200. Everyone falls to Phil Helmut. 
and I called, and Dario made it 11,000. He made a great raise because it made me think he was drawing. And make it look like a squeeze, which, which was what I wanted because I talked to a pair the only answer I was losing against were set. I started to think he had queen 10 or he had 10 8. The action is back to Aki, which uh, just falls. And now it's to Phil Almut. And normally I would fold that hand nine times out of 10, but I thought maybe he had a draw and that he was going to check on the turn. Uh, so I called. And uh, I might put him on 10 8 or 10 queen because he called me. And then boom, a queen pops off, which was gin for me. So I check. There was a little chance he has ace jack or king jack, but I didn't think so because he didn't raise on Naki. So uh, I thought the best way was uh, trying to make a bet and figure out something. I bet at 14,000. It was kind of an easy no brainer to move all in there. I raise. 29 9. The pot was very big, and um, what I was putting him on was ace jack or king jack, small chance. If he has queen 10, I'm a pretty big favorite. I decided to call. I call. How many times do you want to run? Well, you might be drawing dead, so. You have 10 king? Yeah. And I was wrong because he had king 10. And now the river was a five. Five spades, it's over. In that hand, I was lucky, obviously. I, it's Dario, so he could have. I, I thought I he had 10 8. And that was more my money. That was a nice, really nice hand to win. At one point, Super Dario was huge, running around, collecting coins, spitting fireballs. Now King Koopa over there has shrunk him down to his normal size. Phil got super lucky hitting that gut shot. He's not allowed to complain about running bad for the rest of the show. Phil, you, you got the sickness a little bit late in the game for a gut shot. And it's chizzy. You got the sickness a little. It feels good to the gutter ball and then get yeah, full how, stack how, how, value, how, 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 huh? That feels good, Helmuth, right? <laughs> Pay for the gutter ball, get there. Get the whole stack in on the he next four card. Outs. He was 10 to 1. Get the whole stack in on the next card, Helmuth. You just he did it, kid. If there's one thing Phil Helmuth hates, it's a lot of attention. Martinez folds. Pot. Helmuth raises to 2,000 with the ace jack. Minieri folds. Oh, my bad. My bad. My hand is. Last time, Phil. I, I, actually, I, I messed up. Elkie calls 2,000 with two nines. And lock is folded. Perkins calls 1600 with the 6-4. Okay. The businessman in the business of lighting money on fire. <laughs> flop. Deuce, 10, 9. Elky flops a set. And seems a little entranced by it, like he's looking at a double rainbow. <laughs> Perkins checks. Checks his 6 high. 7,000. Bad time for a C-bet. Helmuth bets 7K. There goes all that profit. A raise in this spot would look pretty strong on this fairly dry board. Then again, Elky knows Phil's liable to call with a gut shot. Pfft, a gut shot. <laughs> and there's your raise. Elky makes it 19,000. The businessman quickly out. Phil made a very loose call last hand on the flop. This call would be so loose, it needs a pair of suspenders. Belt and suspenders makes the call. Wow, Phil's up now. He's not supposed to be making frustration calls anymore. I check. And he dark checks, which has worked so well so far. Turn, three of clubs. That card's more inconsequential than the entire NBA regular season. <laughs> Helmuth is already checked, so it's on Elky. No reason to not try to bet this again for value. Fires 33-3. No, oh, me. Come on. Phil frustrated. He has to lay down his ace jack high. Jack clean, Elky. Good bet, buddy. Bad bet. You probably would have called for less. Helmuth lets it go. Oh, man, that was a super that? bluff. Show, show. Show, show. Elky wins a pot worth over 78,000. All right, Elky, let's play poker, kid. You got me. And the rest of the night. If you hit some hands, you're going to win a lot of money, sir. Phil is absolutely chowing down on those glasses right now. Yeah, despite the big win against Dario, Phil is still very tilty. While Phil's 1.7 aggro factor is the second lowest at the table, he's gotten a lot more aggressive in the last few hands. But given Elky's passive approach this whole week, it was surprising to see him call Gropelier's flop raise with ace high and no draw. Nice job on Gropelier. Poker Brat's profit was short lived. He's now down 3,000 overall. I just noticed Elky's not wearing a shirt under that thing. Whoa. <laughs> And Helmuth in the straddle. Or he wants to mess with me. Of course he wants to mess with me. If you're wondering who he is, it's everyone. Hey, did I just, was that a voluntary straddle from Helmuth? Yes. I love this. It's like, you can never tell where Helmuth's brain at. It's like in knit mode or crazy, let's put, but actually has more money, so now it makes more sense. Dario raises. I'm tilted. I mean, I, I, I lost that money to Elky. I'm just so tilted. Elky folds over to Locke, who lets it go. I'm gonna get out of it. I'm gonna get out of I it. I did call you with ace jack high, Elky. You like that? That was the worst call you, put, you made. You could have already made. Way to sugarcoat it, Elk. Action on Martinez, the cannon, with ace jack. 
Look at this guy. He's, he's disappeared. Yeah, but maybe he stands up 140. He's, he's yeah. done gambling. Guys, I think he can hear you. <laughs> Max has got Dario dominated, but he is out of position. He'll just call. Helmuth. Left another set. Still tilting. 10-4. I know he's defending his straddle, but is Phil even looking at his cards? He's dominated, and he's got the good buddy hand. If a chick calls you a good buddy, it's over, brah. Deuce, king, six, three spades. No one's got a spade. Martinez checks. Helmuth checks. Dario was the pre-flop aggressor. And he checks to see if that ace was a spade, and then checks it to the turn. Seven of clubs. Max's ace jack, still the best hand. And he checks. 55. Helmuth's going to take a stab, bets 5,500. Oops, all right. Dario quickly out. The loose cannon does not look convinced. Helmuth continuing that aggression we just mentioned. I wonder if the cannon will tighten up now that he's got a lead and time is running out. He does, and Helmuth will take it down with a little bluff. You're playing a dangerous game, Phil Helmuth. <laughs> so that $14,000 pot puts the poker brat back in Profitville. See if he stays there or heads back to Tilty Town when the big game continues. Welcome back to the PokerStars.com Big Game. We're on hand 122 of the 150 to be played. And there's some tension starting to build as action begins on Dario Minieri. Yeah, I'm ready to gamble with you. Folds the nine deuce. You know that. I'm ready to gamble when you're doing dead. Elky raises the 1300 with king 10. Lock calls quickly with ace eight. I bet the pot. Perkins pots it. How much? 64. To 6,400 with the 8-6. Time is running out, so it looks like we're in for some big pots. Martinez and Helmuth fold. And Elky folds. And for the set without him. So seek. Locke makes the call. We know Locke has Perkins dominated. He knows Perkins could be doing this with any two cards. Queen, 3-8, two clubs. Locke and Perkins both with middle pair, but Phil with a stranglehold now with the nut flush draw. Bets 10K. What an insanely good flop for Phil. Perkins calls. Phil's donk bet to induce action. Perkins snap calls with middle pair, no kicker. Seems pretty proud of himself. Turn, eight of diamonds, both players with trips. Oh boy, both these guys have monster hands and monster stacks. Things are about to get real real in here. Lock bets 25,000. Someone get Bill Perkins a blanket because this is a cold deck. I raise. He's going to raise it. There's the 25. How much will Bill Perkins fire into the abyss? Raises to 80,000. Now 140,000 in this pot. Phil Locke with a bit of a knit roll or Hollywooding, but he's never folding. I think I got you beat. I think you, unless you have like ace eight of clubs or some sick demon hand. Well, he's clearly not knit rolling, Joe. I think he's just relishing the moment. I, I just, boys and girls at home, if I'm wrong and you're starting to try and you know, like play good poker, and <laughs> you think this is the night to like, you know, let's uh -huh. follow Phil. He always gets unstuck. Maybe this is the time to watch a different program. Can I give him the penny? This is dirty. That penny is cursed. I'm gonna make my own decision. It's cursed. He's gonna fold. There's no way he's gonna call half his stack. Well, you're right, Phil. He's not calling. All right, this is what it looks like when I go all in. I'm all in. Locks all in. I call. Perkins calls. Good move. Ugh, evil. It was evil. I'm sorry. You're my friend, so you can take it. You wanna run it twice? Twice. Hey, how about three times in the first and last count? The middle doesn't count. Go. Next. So they're going to run it three times. Over 330K in the middle. Three times, first and last. Second river will not count. I'm going. He got me. Cost me money and got me. Perkins needs a six for the win. A queen or a tray will chop it. But it's a five. First one's mine. The second one doesn't count, but we need to see what it is anyways. This is me. If a six comes now, I am super shallow. On. <laughs> so this river will not count. A six would be pretty sick. Nope, deuce of diamonds, and that doesn't spoil any of Perkins' outs. That one didn't count. Here's the last one that counts. No six. Don't don't punish me for this funny business that I did. You Maybe should get punished for all that drama. You should get punished for all that drama. Save the drama for your mama and deal. Will he get punished? 
No, 10 of spades, and Phil Locke is going to drag a $335,000 pot. Good, I'm out. All right, buddy. You got that it. Sick. Good drama. Good drama. Sick. All right, guys. Sick, 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 sick. sick. Gabs are here. Bill Perkins dusted off nearly 300 grand this week. Wow. Wow. How lucky is Phil Locke? Um, trips over trips plus. against the businessman. So after struggling all week long, that massive pod puts Phil Locke up more than 100K right now. He trails the loose cannon who continues to lead everyone with a profit of almost 134,000. With 28 hands to go, Max is about 20K behind Gonzalez Cannon for the passport. So Gonzo's benchmark is far from safe. So while that race remains tight, Locke has just leapfrogged Justin Bonomo by a wide margin to become the big game's most profitable player ever with more than 575,000. That's over half a million. <laughs> Replacing Bill Perkins in seat six is Jason Mercier. The 24-year-old rising star is from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and has already captured a WSOP bracelet. Jason's making his fifth appearance in the big game and is up over 84,000 overall. Tonight, he'll begin with 200K. I know Jason's a fan of the show because he texts me at three in the morning if he doesn't like what I have to say. Uh, Action will start on Elke, ace jack of hearts. Raises to 1,300, lock folds. Welcome to the table with Trash for Mercier. Let's it go. Cannon out. Pot. How many pots it with the 10-9? Phil's out of position, but he's not letting that stop him. How much? 49 total. Aggressive as all get out. Minieri's already folded. And how makes it 4,900? Elkie facing a three bat with a big suited ace. Elkie calls. Helmuth's out of position, but at least he's got the betting lead. Flop. Four king, five, two hearts. Elkie with the nut flush draw. I assume Phil's going to have to continue with this. 7,400. He does, makes it 7,400. Zero percent chance Elkie folds. Given the way Helmuth's been playing, Joe, what's more likely here, a call or a raise from Elkie? Well, Elky won't want to chase away Phil if he's bluffing. He just calls. Phil's in pretty bad shape here. To the turn. Ten of spades, and Phil hits a pair. He takes the lead, but Elky with every out in the deck now. He has a straight draw as well. Will Phil fire at this again? Looks like yes. 25-6. That's 25,600. Elky's getting way the right price. Factor in implied odds and the fact that he might not even be behind at all, and I think it's super unlikely to see Elky fold. I'll take this one, Elky. Like beeping at a hot girl from your car, I don't know that this tactic has ever worked. <laughs> Elky's just got so many outs. That's a big raise. Elky's made it 122,000 to go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Don't think he's kidding. Cheating me in this game or what? Phil's ahead, but if he makes this call, he's coin flipping for a couple hundred grand. I think Phil's just about to snap through those glasses. Elmuth lays it down and the aggressive semi bluff will work for Elky. He can show one. He can see one. This one. This is the one. Lock flips over the ace. Oh, ace three of hearts. Oh, better than that. Come on. Ace jack of hearts. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, Elky, you put him on Astro tilt. <laughs> if you want to make that tilt complete, <laughs> you have to fade the river. Severe lack of bleeps there. Serenity now. <laughs> That's Elky two. Helmuth nothing. See if Elky continues to own the poker brat when the big game returns right after this. Welcome back to Las Vegas, where Gonzalez Cannon, our leading loose cannon, is watching things unfold from backstage. You know, I have a pretty decent number. The guy's on my heels. I mean, he has a huge, <laughs> huge profit, which is very good for him. I want all the loose cannons to profit. I just don't want him to pass me. You know, is that too much? Is that too much to ask? Gonzo still leads the Italian Massimiliano Martinez for the NAPT passport by 22,000 bucks. That passport is worth an extra $50,000. Max has still got some time, but it looks like this race is coming down to the wire. Action will start here on Phil Locke, the Unabomber. Queen four, lets it go. Okay, that's what I'm gonna open to. Mercier folds. What in the hell is going on here? Martinez, Jack Deuce, folds. All right, I pot. I'm you pots it. Good hand, Elke. Thank you, Phil. Raises to 2,000 with ace three, Minieri out. I wish we could play for a couple more hours, buddy. 
I want to gamble. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Elky calls, and these two going at it again. Deuce, ace, jack, couple of spades. Elky flops another flush draw. If Elky eventually catches his spade, we could have level four ultimo tilt. <laughs> Elky bets 2,700. 6,000. Phil raises to 6K. Phil's frustratedly bloating this pot. Sure, he's ahead, but he could also be dominated. No shove? Elky makes the call. Turn, deuce of hearts. Elky missed. Helmy is playing the jack kicker now. Elky checks. And Helmy checks behind. Slows down. River. Tray of spades. Elky makes his flush. Oh, boy. Phil's hand gets exactly one pip bigger, and Elky's hand is now basically the nuts. Elky fires. Call. Phil calls. Bye. Elky wins. Here it comes. Oh, he's only freaking out on the inside. Elky will drag a pot worth 30,000. Nice, huh? There it is. Elky, is it nice? He's, he suspects it's nice. Is it? It's quite nice. <laughs> he confirms. We. Oui. Just a few hands ago, Phil was positive for the first time all week, but he seems to be coming unglued at the moment. Unfortunately, it's been a familiar story for Helmuth during his six stints on the big game. He's landed in the poor house every time out, except from the 93.5 profit he turned on his fifth table. Phil's currently stuck over 50K for this week. Helmuth has dropped 342,000 overall, and if he doesn't pull himself together, the wheels may fall off once again. The wheels, the axles, the bucket seats, the steering wheel, the dashboard. The radio, the seat belts. 10-4 <laughs> for Dario. The carburetor. Folds. The tailpipe. Elky folds. Lock with the jack tray, lets it go. The windshield. Mercier lets it go. 10-5 for Martinez. The dice hanging from the mirror. All right, I'm done. Calls 200. Race four. Helmuth min raises to 800. Annoying little back raise. Awesome if Max just folded, make him look like a jerk. Martinez calls. At a table full of Nemesi, Phil is now heads up with one of them. <laughs> flop. Four, 10, nine, two clubs. Cannon flops top pair and checks it. Helmuth with middle pair and a flush draw. Helmuth's the favorite, but he has the worst hand. 16. Bet 1,600. Don't think Max is going anywhere with top pair against Phil Spumuth. Would it be hell spew? <laughs> Martinez raises to 5,100. I want to raise it up. Things are getting heated in a hurry. Phil puts out enough to call, but he'll contemplate his raise amount. Phil taking his sweet time figuring out how much to make it. Still waiting on Phil. All in. Cannon's all in. You're all in? OK. Apparently, Max was tired of waiting. And he flips up his hand. Helmuth ready to gamble. Wow, look at this. How, how many times do you want round? One time's good. Only one? Helmuth is a man. He's doing straddles and doing it one time, and he's. One time's good. Can't give him one time's good. It's your choice, not mine. <laughs> one time's good, I said. Okay. One time, one time. How many times are they running it? One time. Helmuth is the slight favorite. His outs are practically running off the screen. Huge moment for Max. If his hand holds up, he'll grab the lead from Gonzo for the NAPT passport. Gonzo and Phil both rooting for a club. Five of diamonds, two pair for Max. Not a great card for Phil. It kills one of his club outs. Max hits the five of clubs. He'll make a full house. Very nice five. Five, five? five oh, of oh, five of clubs. Five of clubs, yeah. Five of clubs is burn up. Is burn up the five of clubs. Rubbing salt in the wounds. Oh, don't do this, please. I, I, I don't want to say. If you don't say, I don't want to say. Max is awfully cocky. And if Phil doesn't hit one of his outs, the big game will send him home broke again. Six of spades. Woo! And Max takes the passport lead. I got it, man. Yeah, you got it. All right. Well played, bro. Thank you. GG, Phil. Oh, baby, bye. Game. Max now leads Gonzo by over 10K. Kid, guess what? You're probably going to have the NAPT package now. Gonzo looks down, but it ain't over yet. There's still a chance for Max to blow it. Well, Max has been aggressive and unpredictable. Let's see whether he's willing to risk the loose cannon lead. One thing we know about this loose cannon, he don't play scurred. Wow. I can't, I can't believe it. I, I win a flip against the poker bra. <laughs> I have to tell mom. Welcome back to the big game as Phil Helmuth is still steaming after that swift exit. 
It's been a very frustrating run for me to take all these beats that I've taken over the stretch of six big game shows. It's frustrating. The loose cannon is probably a really bad player, and I think he pushed it well beyond the boundaries of luck. Now, he's supposed to fall off a cliff, but somebody built him a bridge. I really, truly don't think that he knows what he's doing. With all the money he's won tonight, Max can probably afford to have his own bridge built and dedicate it to Phil. <laughs> well, after busting Helmuth, Massimiliano Martinez from Italy has just overtaken Gonzalez Cannon for the NAPT passport lead and now leads by 11K. With only a few hands to go, Max has the lead wrapped up as long as he doesn't do anything crazy. Meanwhile, Antonio Esfandiari is here for a hit and run. Antonio moved from Iran to California at age nine, picked up a WSOP bracelet at 26, and is making his fourth big game appearance at 33. He's down more than 264,000 overall and begins tonight with 200K. I've never worn a sports jacket on a... You look good, Well, dude. I didn't think I was getting a seat, so I dressed up to go out. I was hanging out. You know? <laughs> I was out and about, and I get a call. Dario's stuck, Elkie's winning. <laughs> Max is doing the shallow and kung fu on us. I wish Max was stuck. That'd be a lot more fun. It's still pretty fun, though, with just a few hands left and a profit in front of him. I'd expect your boy Phil Locke to rock up. Elky folds over to Locke, who also folds. Mercier out. Cannon on the button with 7 5 of diamonds. You're not just like a fish loose cannon. You're like an online wizard professional, that one, right? Is he hasn't he, admitted is to he a wizard? We think he studied with the Chinese. Seems to be sticking to his same old aggressive game, even with that passport to protect. Raises to 1300. 9-8 for Sfondiari, folds, Minieri, ace, four of hearts. I raise pop. Raises to 4,700. I'd assume Max's button range would have gotten tighter, but Dario's made a good read on his Paisan. Now let's see how crazy Max really is. Not that crazy, lets it go. Dario will take down a small pot preflop. The cannon tried to take advantage of his position and his image, but it was a little well-timed aggression on Dario's part that won him that pot. Right. I hope Max brought enough gum for the rest of us. <laughs> In English, please. <sighs> After this fold, everybody call me That's a terrible word, fold. Well, Gonzo doesn't mind seeing Max still playing, and he's with Amanda. What's going through your mind? I just hope he gets involved in a hand and loses a little bit. I don't want him to get stacked. Right. You know what I mean? Take your profit. Because you don't hate him. You I just don't, don't want him. him to win. I'm just playing hating on his, on his NAPT uh, lockup he has right now. But it's not over yet, though, you know? We will watch together. Yes, you. yes. Gonzo thinks he's talking to Tanya Harding. <laughs> Every time I see her in that dress, I expect her to do a triple Lutz. Ace four for Martinez. Folds. Esfandiari. With Big Slick. That's his nickname at the club. Welcome to the game, Big Slick. Raises to 1,100. Dario out over to Elki. Folds. Wow, I never thought in a million wow. years that would they happen. They both folded. Ever. I get aces and boom, they just both fold. So sick. You know, I'm never defending out of position. Lock folds the queen five. Mercier with ace jack. Not when you're up. <laughs> Correct. When I was down, I did it a lot. Huh? That's how I got stuck 67 so far. Speaking of defending out of position, that's exactly what Jason just did, and he's dominated. Ace nine nine, two hearts. Both Esfandiari and Mercier have paired their ace. Bit of a cold deck. Mercier checks. You have to think about it the wrong way, about life. You're up on life. Antonio bets 2100. Jason's ahead of most of Antonio's range, especially since he could be c-betting with nothing. And he does make the call. However, as it stands, Jason's in pretty bad shape. Turn. Jack of hearts, not anymore. Mercier takes a huge lead now with two pair. This kid runs like Jason Mercier. <laughs> and he checks it. So there is a potential flush out there now. Will Antonio keep firing? He didn't like it, he checks. Wisely slows down. River, 10 of diamonds. Jason still with the best hand. Checks again. Jason's checked to him on the last two streets, so Antonio may feel like he can value bet now. Looks like he does, going for chips and bets 7,400. Pot size bet, pretty big. You have king, queen. It's a big bet. I was gonna, I was gonna call. You might win. He will. Shows him the two pair. Nice answer. Thanks. And Mercier takes down a pot worth 22K. 
felt like you were gonna win. <laughs> yeah, you had queen high then. <laughs> Jokes are somehow a lot funnier when you're raking in chips. <laughs> As we come to hand number 150. Hey Max, last hand. Yeah. <laughs> Go all in. Finally. <laughs> Go all in. Have no fear. <laughs> I never be upset like that in this moment. Action will start on the cannon. <laughs> I have to say a thing, just for last time. I promise. I may. I make a pro. I made the promise. Will he play? No. King six. I have to say to the camera, a little banana, because nope. He folds and Gonzo's drawing dead for the passport. I can't even believe Max kept the banana promise he made me. What a good guy. <laughs> Vinieri raises to 1,200 with the queen 10. Two tens for Elke. Raises to 3,800, lockout. I wish I was here all day to see the madness, you know? OMG, it was so awesome. Best week ever. Ace 10 of hearts reverse here. Repops it to 10-7. Last hand of the night, why not? Vinieri folds and it's back on Elke. Elke's got a big pocket pair and he's got position. And he's got chips, and he's calling. Jason Mercier not in great shape. It's never really hurt him before, though. Flop, nine, seven, seven, two clubs. Pretty good flop for Elke. Jason didn't even hit the right color. He'll check. Gives up the lead. And Elke bets 12,200. Mercier's got no pair and no real draw. And I'll let it go. You had it? I would never bluff the last hand. Two times. Elki uh, shows him the pair. I had ace time suited. And Elki will take down a pot worth almost $36,000 to end the week. I'm not ready to say goodbye to these Italians. I want to say congratulations, man. Thank you. you played a hell of a game. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. He's been toppled. New Shallow Monk in town. Very nice gesture by Gonzo. He is a true cannon. So Massimiliano Martinez overtakes Gonzalez Cannon on the final night for the loose cannon lead and finishes with a profit of more than 163,000. Overall, Elke was the big winner while Phil and Bill went home disappointed. Max has posted a number that'll be extremely tough for the other cannons to beat, but then again, I felt the same way about Gonzo before this week began. And right now, Amanda's with a very happy loose cannon. Max. You were so calm, cool, collected the entire week. Now that it's all over, what are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling great. Uh, I, I win a lot, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm quite proud of my, of my game. I, can, I can't imagine nothing better, so I'm very, very happy. Well, you know, you told me what really excites you is tournaments, right? Yeah. So this money and that potential NAPT passport, is that going to jumpstart your poker career? Oh, I think for, for a pro, uh, for every person, uh, we will make, uh, we will live playing this game. Right. Uh, that's the better thing uh, like, can happen. Good luck. We'll see if your number holds up, all right? Carla, come on out. Give him a hug. This is your girlfriend. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I'm Amanda Leatherman saying goodbye for now. And remember, if you've got the cash and the guts, there's always a seat open at the big game. Good night, everybody. Max has the passport lead, but this season still has a long way to go. For Stapes, this is Huff saying ciao. I have to say he's a very good loose cannon. He set the tone of the game like right from the start. He tired me out. I gave up playing against him. He showed it to many people that Italians are not dunk and we know the game. Man, he had a lot of heart, I'll tell you that. I think if we played with this loose cannon every day, he'd get himself busted. You know, uh, four out of ten times for sure. I bust Phil Hermut, that uh, is uh, incredible. <laughs> Probably tomorrow when I wake up, uh, I say, wow. Can I make it better? Probably not so. Sono Massimiliano Martinez e ho distrutto il big game. <laughs>